Welcome back to our van plan and part two of my Switzerland trip. In part one, I spent some time exploring beautiful Sug and then headed 7,000 feet up to the St. Gotthard Pass to spend the night in the mountains. You join me as I head back down to my next stop, the city of Lucerne. So I found this park up on park for night in Lucerne and the it was pretty much motorway door to door from the pass. Uh, it's right next to the marina behind, which is really cool. The only issue is it only accepts um, coins and the payment machine. Um, but luckily I plucked up the courage and spoke to a nice Swiss couple in a motorhome who um, swapped me a five, my five euro note for a five franc coin, which got me two and a half hours. So I'm gonna wander into Luzerne for a couple of hours, have a look around and explore before I hit uh, the campsite. So this is the famous Kapol Brücke, uh, made entirely out of wood. I think it did burn down and most of it's been rebuilt, but um, it's lined with loads of artwork. So you can walk across that, I'll do that in a minute, but a little tip if you come to the bridge behind it, which is here, you can get some really stunning views of this bridge. Lucerne in this very short visit, been about an hour and a half or so, um, and I've got to move on now. It's a little bit further to the campsite than I thought, about an hour and 40 minutes, so don't want to be too late there. But um, from what I've seen, it's a beautiful city, and we'll definitely be back with Neil and Jake. Um, it's pretty busy at the moment, this bridge isn't too bad, but um, if you look over there, you've got all the uh, eating and drinking places along the river, which are really cool, but um, very busy. And then over this side, these ones have like I don't know if you can see like the archways and then loads of space inside so it's technically outside but it's undercover so I can imagine when it's a bit cooler here or even snowing and you can sit outside with a little bit of shelter it'll be absolutely lovely so that is going on the bucket list but for now back to the van hit the road and head to Lautbrunnen from the beautiful Lauterbrunnen. It's a crisp blue sky Monday morning here in Switzerland. Um, and this valley is absolutely stunning. I'm out and about quite early on Monday. It's pretty chilly at the moment, but I think it's gonna warm up later. Um, I arrived last night at Camping Jungfrau, more on that in a bit. The journey from Lucerne was pretty good, to be honest. There was a few uh, really tight turns and switchbacks and a little cork screw through the mountain, which was interesting uh, as you come down from quite a high position right the way down to the valley floor, but other than that, really good. When you come into Lauterbrunnen, the um, road's quite narrow, and then you have to turn off to an even uh, narrower road, which is basically single track, full of tourists, because it's bank holiday weekend here in Switzerland, as I found out, just as it is in the UK. So I had to kind of navigate that to the, get to the campsite, but I'll give you a full tour on the campsite in a bit. For now, um, I'm taking the opportunity, while it's a little bit quieter, to get out and about um, and have a walk through the valley. So there's quite a lot to do in this area. Um, I'm only here for two nights and basically one full day. So um, today is my day of exploring uh, on foot, leaving the van where it is. Um, so, and I wanted to go, I love a mountain top, I love a cable car. <laughs> so I've been looking at that. There's quite a lot of options around here. Jungfrau is the uh, biggest peak near here. It's called the top of Europe, but I looked into pricing for that and to get there from here, from Lauterbrunnen, it's um, about 200 pounds 
return, which is ridiculous. So I found another place further along this road, um, which runs along the valley floor from Lauterbrunnen to a place called Steckelberg. Um, and from there you can get, I think it's four different cable cars. They kind of work their way up the mountain um, to Stil uh, Schilthorn, which is the peak um, used in one of the James Bond's Bond films, I believe. Um, but it looks pretty good because there's a couple of places you can stop. Obviously you can break the journey and the cable cars and explore some of the different areas on your way up. So I'm looking forward to that. The walk from the campsite is pretty level um, along this whole little road. And it's about 55 minutes according to Google. I keep stopping to take photos though. So I suppose it's gonna take me a little bit longer. But um, once we get to uh, the cable car, ticket wise, the campsite gives you a card that gives you a discount of 30% off this one as well. So I think it's gonna be about 50 pound return so a quarter of the price so uh, we'll see and I've made it layers have come off because it's got quite warm um, I've stopped loads to take photos and film some stuff so the total journey for me um, is an hour so it's an easy peasy ride, uh, walk, sorry, to the cable car um, and it's a cycle path as well so if you've got your bikes, even quicker. So I have my ticket and that's pretty good with the card you get when checking into the campsite. It's 70 Swiss francs instead of 100 which is pretty good saving so now just to join the queue and then first cable car all the way up there So four cable cars and one lift later, we are at the top of Schildhorn at Piz Gloria. It's 2,970 meters above sea level um, and some gorgeous views all the way around, right the way over to Interlaken in the distance and the mountains surrounding. Uh, the clouds are coming in a little bit, but it's not spoiling the view too much. Um, and then, so I'm gonna hang around here for a bit, have a look around, and then on the way back down, you can break your stop at all the different places um, which have different activities or views um, or things to see. So it's a pretty cool way of doing it. And uh, yeah, definitely worth uh, visiting if you're in the area. Okay, so I'm headed back to the cable car, down to the first stop down, which is called Berg, Berg, B-I-R-G. Um, and there there's, this is like view, that's one's called Thrill. So there's like a walkway around the edge and some other bits and pieces. So I'm gonna have a look at that. And then the third stop is, or the second stop is um, a town called Muren which is a uh, carless town on the side of the mountain, so I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, let's find the uh, queue for the cable car. So that's where we were before, but arguably this is the better view and the more exciting viewpoint. So you've got this massive glass walled area around here. And then over this way, you can take a step out off the edge of the mountain. And if you look down, you can see right down between the uh, gaps on the floor. 
but the view is stunning. Okay, so I'm starting the thrill walk now. Um, just going down some stairs below the viewing deck and we'll see where this takes us. Okay, so I did the tightrope now, which side to walk on, the metal or the glass? I think it's gotta be the glass, let's go. Whoa. <laughs> that was so cool, really recommend stopping at Berg. Um, the tightrope was brilliant and uh, as long as the next person doesn't get on before you get off because it's quite wobbly and the glass that was cool as well uh, gonna follow the path around a bit further now don't know what else is in store for us but um it's uh, it's nice it's nice and peaceful out here as well there's no protection so you can feel the wind and see the cable cars going down behind <laughs> really cool it's a shame the end bit was actually closed and that um, little tunnel thing was really hard on the old knees but um, quite fun going in there um, you can see just behind me up in the back there somewhere can't even see the screen um, the platform the way you come here that's where you sort of initially go to and then this is all tucked away down below so I uh, thoroughly recommend coming here um, next stop heading all the way down the mountain to Murren a little village town at the very bottom there So in complete contrast to being up a mountain and seeing lots of snow, being down here in the mountain village of Nuren um, is just lovely. It's very um, busy, quite touristy, not so bad today, um, but clearly it's a touristy place. Um, there are also apparently no public roads leading up to or down from the village. So everything has to arrive on the train, which is behind me here, or the cable car, which I came up earlier. Um, so I've had a walk through, there's lots of shops and restaurants and stuff just kind of come to the end of it if you carry on that way there's all sorts of mountain trails you can do a bike or walk um, and then back up that way I'm gonna go and find somewhere to sit down and have a beer and enjoy the view Camping Jungfrau in Lauterbrunnen is a large campsite situated five minutes walk from the town and in the middle of the most stunning valley with mountains all around. The campsite has plenty of facilities, good quality showers, toilets, washing up and washing facilities, there's a lounge room for when it's colder, an on-site restaurant and bar and a well-stocked but quite expensive shop. The staff are really helpful and despite it being busy they let me move pictures to a quieter spot. It cost me £65 for two nights without electric and bear in mind that the entrance to the campsite is down a single track road that gets quite busy with tourists. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day and I'm still so amazed. It's an early start for my last morning in Switzerland. I'm going to be out of the campsite by 10 and heading into France this afternoon. But uh, before I go, there are a couple of things in Lauterbrunnen I really want to do. And the first one is just over there. And you might be able to hear it in the background. So you can walk all the way up this zigzag path right the way up to a little uh, cutting below the uh, waterfall. So I'm going to do that. I've got my waterproof jacket on. Uh, yesterday the wind was blowing that way so the water was right over there so it's a bit drier but today I think it's going to be quite wet so uh, let's give it a go. Oh, 
never ends Let's be a more than friends Well, this is absolutely amazing. Quite a steep climb up, but this is well worth it. I'm not getting too wet either. Although the wind has changed the direction now, and that waterfall is plummeting over the rocks. Rock from right up there, straight over this little area that's been made in the uh, in the cliff face. It's uh, yeah, great experience. Very quiet early in the morning. back out of the fake rain um, I'm gonna head back to the van now get everything sorted check out at 10 but there is a car park at the top of the road where you can leave the van for the day if you want to hang around a bit more so whilst I'm not gonna stay here all day what I do want to do is go up to that village right at the top there you can see called Bengen there's a, a little narrow gauge railway that runs from Lauterbrunnen station all the way up snakes up the uh, mountainside up to the village so I'm gonna do that it's on the main Swiss rail network so the tickets are cheap uh, I'm gonna do that in a bit and then um, and then that marks the end of my time in Switzerland so the campsite checkout is quite early it's about 10 a.m. although they're a little bit flexible but the good news is there's this huge parking area here which is available to park in for the rest of the day and um, which is great all you need is one of these um, cards that you get from reception on checkout and then you can go and explore the area for another day um, and obviously use the facilities if you need to before you head off. Now I am leaving Switzerland um, this afternoon and my tunnel back to the UK is tomorrow evening so I've got a bit of time in France but I really want to maximise my time here so for the last part of this video I'm going to take you for a walk through Lauterbrunnen and then to the station and we'll get the train up to Wengen. Definitely one of the nicest train rides I've done now at Wengen. That was about 12 minutes from Lauterbrunnen. A return ticket is about 12 pounds, which is, uh, to be honest, worth it. The views are amazing. There are um, like view cars with loads of windows and stuff. That's what you want, observation cars. Um, there's two of them on each train, so definitely go for one of those because you get a really lovely view of the surrounding mountains and hills and forests and stuff. It's amazing. So I'm going to explore Wengen for a bit um, before I get the train back down. It's a half hourly service, so it shouldn't be an issue. Um, connecting back down to Lauterbrunnen. This is an epic view, so that's Lauterbrunnen down there, um, the campsite just here, and then that, part, that road all the way through the valley into the distance, that's where I walked down yesterday. I really enjoyed my little pit stop in Wengen. Definitely recommend the uh, excursion if you do come to Lauterbrunnen. It's not far, 12 minutes on that little cog railway, which is beautiful, very scenic. Um, and yeah, nice little quiet town in the summer. I'm sure in uh, ski season, it's pretty much comes alive the uh, there are bars and all sorts of places dotted around definitely lined up for that um, I'd love to come back when it's snowy but um, or equally good in the spring it's just beautiful now so uh, that's it that brings me to the end of van life Switzerland for me um, I've had a fantastic time and yes Switzerland is very very expensive but I think it's been good to see that you can get cheaper campsites with TCS camping which was fantastic um, and also that you can wild camp if you're careful um, on top of that mountain pass um, it was a really great experience. I really want to come back with Jake and Neil. Uh, Jake will love it because it's perfect for dogs. It's lots to sniff and explore and coming up into the mountains allows it to be a little bit cooler for him. So we will plan that trip for sure. But um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Comment below if you've done Switzerland before, if you know any wild camping spots or any other places to go um, when we come back. And I'd love you to give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And don't forget over on Instagram at our van plan. Check us out there for all the latest in what we're up to in Carlo the Camper Van. And we'll see you soon.